everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations and I am here with a flip through of my latest journal and this will be for sale in my Etsy shop. I'm calling it Victoria because it's a Victorian journal and although I think these ladies are more Edwardian than Victorian, um, there's definitely overlaps between a lot of that. I have created this journal. It is a hardcover and it has a curved spine with a hollow back binding um, and it's got this beautiful fabric. I fell in love with this fabric and I've been dying to make a journal with it and I finally, finally did it. So this was some fabric that was given to me and on the cover, this was kind of fun because there's all kinds of junk on the cover. So this is not junk. This beautiful image is from the old design shop and I saw this and I knew I wanted that on the cover. But I found a bucket with a bunch of random things in it like this rose and this lace and this velvet and even these little pieces here that are holding the plate which does say live the life you've imagined. That's a Tim Holtz plate. Um, and then it does also have cheesecloth and uh, what is this? Can't think of the name of this fabric off the top of my head. I wanna say linen, but I don't think that's right. Anyway, this is actually from my grandmother. My grandmother was making things with, um, that she was crocheting with. So even that's from my grandmother. So. A lot of this was just kind of found things. It has a closure that is coffee dyed seam binding. And then I have four little um, charms hanging off of the four lace things. I have a key here, a very small Eiffel Tower, um, I have this locket, which I love, that it could be a boyfriend or a father or whomever. And then one little heart, and they're attached with various things. And there is lace in, on four different kinds of lace in this. So let's get into the inside. The inside, all of the papers have been coffee dyed with where I add baking soda to neutralize the acids so that it's not, uh, so it's acid free and it's not going to deteriorate. So on this first page, um, in this side, I do have a pocket and this is a little advertisement. This again is from the old design shop and this is from Prima. So I've mixed a couple of different things in here, but this is from Nick the Booksmith and it is a, whoops, let me see if I can get it to open. It is a calling card. So she had a printout a while back that was Victorian calling cards and you'll see them throughout this. Now, all of the rest of the printables in here pretty much are from Nick the Booksmith. This is from the lady's desk and the other ones I've used are from her Broken China. And you will see a lot of the ephemera is also from the, the booksmith. And then I have a few things that are old design shop. And then I think I have one set of things that I have no idea where I got them from because I got them so long ago. So again, this beautiful coffee dyed paper. And this is a dictionary page that talks about Victoria and Victorian, which is 1837 to 1901. So those are all in here. And this is an old dictionary that I have that's actually from about 1934. I did do some stamping in here. This is a vellum pocket that I um, decorated. And this is also from the old design shop. Or, no, I think that's Nick the Booksmith. Anyway, there's, this is definitely Nick the Booksmith. Um, and then a little bit more stamping in that. This has nine signatures. Uh, five have three and four have four signatures. But I like it because it makes this space a little bit smaller. Isn't this gorgeous? Again, that is from Nick the Booksmith. And I do have four pages that have lace sewn on them. So there's a, quite a bit of sewing in here. I have a doily. 
and more stamping and then I put some lace here this is uh, not stamping um, this is oh boy my brain is just gone but um, I did this <laughs> we'll leave it at that and then this is more from broken China and I did some bees I've left tons of room for you to write in this and that was kind of my goal this is from Nick the booksmith and this was actually from her um, was it her planner kit and so I love this envelope so it's a beautiful little envelope but it actually has also a Nick the booksmith um, this is a love letter that I printed out from her one of her printables so although this is not a design team thing I did uh, it's not a design team journal I predominantly used Nick the booksmith printables in here so no she did not ask me to do this nor did she endorse this journal just want to make that caveat so plenty of I love all this copy dyed paper I also use the five hole binding on all of this. I feel like that really holds things in well. Here's one of my pockets and in it is another Victorian calling card and this one says Ellie Bollinger or Lily Bollinger and then this is the one that I don't know. I have a bunch of these in here and I have no idea where I got them from. This is definitely Nick the Booksmith. This is one of her journaling cards and so there's plenty of room for journaling on the back. This is uh, manufacturer of um, shirts and this is Old Design Shop. So again you can write all over the back of this if you want some extra writing. Gonna slide that back in there and this back in there and then ledger paper some more stamping some more pictures this is a report of the Secretary of Agriculture this is actually a late 1800s book page that I have in here lots of room for writing a doily tuck spot with some more journaling cards in it and then Let's keep going because there's tons in here. Another stamp there. And more stamps here again. All of this is from Nick the Booksmith. I think this is really pretty. I saw someone else who did this. I have this cut out from, it's a Tim Holtz for my Sizzix. So I have that. This is a tag I was just messing around with one day and I thought this turned out really lovely. So it's a Tim Holtz stamp that goes on the back there and then it has a sticker over the top. And again, this is from Nick the Booksmith. This is from Old Design Shop and I of course will um, link them both below. So this is a French, just a French document. And I'm gonna slide that all back in here. So I do have a variety of different papers in here. This is a bag with another one of her cards. I, isn't that gorgeous? I love, love, love these journal cards from Nick. And again, they're either from Broken China or her other one, The Lady's Desk. And lots and lots of journaling spaces. This is the center of a signature. And then here's another one of these cards tucked in here. So I have lots and lots and lots of things in here stenciling that's the word I'm looking for yes I could hear you all yelling Michelle it's stenciling <laughs> okay so and what I did I did not do a typical wrap kind of pay the signatures so the pictures and things are throughout that I have an Edith Holden page in here and more lace and I love this B stamp again another page, another doily tuck spot. So this is just a tag that comes from that same paper pack from Prima and another card from Nick. And oh, if you know me, you know I love tissue paper. I say that every time. I'm always including copy dyed tissue paper in it. This is just some paper I have left over from another one that I did. I have 
this and these two journaling cards. Again, this is um, Old Design Shop Julie over at Old Design Shop. She has some beautiful printables. A lot of her stuff is free, but she also has stuff in her Etsy shop. So for example, if you don't feel like searching and searching, she has wonderful kits put together. Another stamp and more of that uh, tracing paper. This is actual vintage um, music. And I get this from Monahan's Papers. I will also link her below. And I have a belly band here with another tag and just, this is a piece of paper. This is again, old design shop, but I thought it looked beautiful with all of this. Um, another one of these lace doily cutouts that I made. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. And then a tag and then a map of the world. So. I would believe that a Victorian lady would at least have spent some time in Europe if she wasn't European to begin with, even if she was from America. Um, I know that there was a lot of traveling by ships back then, and besides that, I just think it's pretty. So I wanted to include that in this pocket. More of my stenciling and another Nick page, some stamping, more lace. Whoops, I went a little bit too far and that vintage French music, and lots of just other coffee dyed papers. This is just clipped in here with this really tiny, tiny paper clip, and it's another one of those um, tags that I made, and another Nick journaling card, oh, and some bees, and that stamp again. And that is the last page in here, and at the back, is my is a um, tall coin envelope and you can see here is my country morning creations this is full of ephemera so i'm going to move the book out of the way and show you what all comes with this so this has a ton of extra stuff in here to add to the journal however you would like so these are some journal cards. These are actually from Julie at the old design shop. These are these stickers. These are on matte clear paper, um, sticker paper. So these are actually stickers. These are all from Nick. This is some washi from Nick, or you can cut these out and add those as flowers. This is also some washi from Nick, and these are some extra just little journal cards. And these all will come in this confidential folder. This was from Nick, and these are from her words, and that's a little number tag that's also from Nick. So yes, this was heavily Nick the Booksmith with a little bit of old design shop and a couple of things from um, Monaghan's Papers. I love her for her French um, papers. And so I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. This will be listed in my Etsy shop. Actually, it is already listed in my Etsy shop at this time. And if you are interested in purchasing it, head on over. I'll have that link below as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope I've inspired you to be creative today.